Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 24H2 update for the main release. This is basically the biggest Windows 11 update for the month of May in every Windows Insider channel or even on the main release because Microsoft is releasing quite a lot of new features in this one. And of course, we're going to go briefly over all the new features that are more interesting. And if you want to see an in-depth video of pretty much everything that is new, you can also check out the previous video from the release review channel that I've done maybe a week or two. To a go. So in this video, of course, we're going to talk about this build, this update, and see what is new. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out Private Internet Access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, the update that we're talking about in this video is build 26100.4202 or build code KB5058499. First of all, to get things out of the way, let me show you how you can get this update and all the new features that Microsoft is rolling out. Just go to Windows Update, make sure you have this enabled to get the latest updates as soon as they're available, then click on check for updates. Of course, this doesn't guarantee that you're going to have all the new features because there are certain features that are slowly rolling out, but you should see pretty much all the new features. And also, I'm going to make an updated video in which I'll show you how to enable all the new features from this update. So to begin with the new features, first of all, of course, we have some new AI features. For example, related to Windows Recall, we have some additional filtering. Related to Click To Do, we have some new intelligent text actions, a new improved search, and also new narrator AI powered image descriptions. These are only features for Copilot Plus PCs. So if you don't have a Copilot Plus PC, you won't have all these new AI features. So that's why I'm just briefly mentioning them. If you want to learn more about them, you can check out the article below, the previous video, all the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested and if you have a Copilot Plus PC. But now let's move on to new features that are for all users and you should have them on your system if you are updated to the latest version. First of all, in the settings app, Microsoft is updating the resume settings. Based Basically, you're going to be able to resume work on certain OneDrive files and you also have this section here in settings with resume and control which apps can use resume and then you can enable it. And basically, whenever you're working on your phone or on another device on a file directly into OneDrive, you can resume work on another device if you have this option enabled. Inside the start menu, Microsoft is adding some new options in the context menu for the pin section. If you right click on an app, you're also going to have the option to create a new folder app. You can click on that and you'll have a new folder created with a single app. Before, you had to drag and drop an app on top of another to create a folder, but right now that is not needed, as you can see. And then you can click on the folder, edit its name, and so on. I think that is pretty nice. Inside the File Explorer, there is a new option that we have related to Copilot. For example, if I go to Pictures and right-click on a picture, we're going to have this new option, Ask Copilot. If you click on it, the Copilot app will be opened up. It's going to load up the image that we've clicked on, and then you can send it to Copilot and ask a question about it. For example, why what can you see in this image? And then Copilot will try to give us an answer. It will also search up answers on the web and so on. Inside the settings app, Microsoft is also adding some new HDR features. So if you go to HDR settings and you have a device or a monitor that supports HDR, you're going to have multiple options here. For example, HDR video streaming, display calibration, and so on. Again, inside settings, system, and then in the about section, if you scroll at the bottom, Microsoft is also adding some frequently asked questions here. There are some general questions related to the computer. Also, if you're searching for printers inside settings, you can go to a certain printer, additional printer settings, and then rename your printer. We're going to notice that this dialog was redesigned to match the Windows 11 design principles. Also, some new mouse options have been moved from the old control panel to the new settings app. So for example, if you go to mouse pointer and touch, we're going to have more options here. For example, customize pointer image, where you can select each mouse state annually, have mouse indicator, mouse pointer trails, mouse pointer shadow, and so on. Inside the quick settings section, if you go to accessibility, there are some changes here. For example, descriptions, you're going to be able to see descriptions for each and every category here. Also, these things are now categorized since the last update. So I think that is pretty nice. Also, the taskbar labels or buttons have received some updates to be more exact for apps that require attention. The whole pill will be now covered in red so that you can easily see whenever an app requires attention. For example, if we're in the file explorer and we want to share an image, you can select it and then click on share 
share, you're going to notice that we have a new option to edit this image. You can click on edit and you can quickly edit it for sharing purposes without overriding the original file. And of course, you have all the options that you have in the Photos app as well. Related to sharing, we also have the new drag tray. For example, we can drag a file and this new tray will open up. You can send the file to your phone, snipping tool, paint, outlet, feedback. And if you go to more, you're going to open the official share window inside Windows where you can select to share with other apps and services. Of course, we also have some app updates, for example, related to Copilot. We have the new Windows plus C keyboard shortcut for Copilot that can be customized inside settings. For example, if I click on this and I'm redirected to text input, I'm gonna have the customized Copilot key and keyboard, then I can customize this how I want. Also, if you hold Windows plus C on your keyboard for two seconds, the talk to Copilot feature will open up. I'm gonna do that right now. As you can see, this is it. I'm gonna close it because Copilot will start talking to me, but I think this is pretty nice that you can use AI to quickly search for something or even talk to AI. There are also some new updates related to voice access and also voice typing that improve these features altogether. There's also a new update for Notepad and also the Paint app now allowing you to connect with an intra-ID account, basically a work or school account. Related to the Snipping Tool app, we also have a new feature which is called a Text Extractor. You can click on it and then you can extract a text from a section without taking a screenshot and then you can copy all text as easy as that. And of course, there's also a Microsoft Store update, which will improve the Microsoft Store and make it more reliable. Of course, there are also fixes in this build, fixes related to the taskbar, the start menu, the file explorer, the task manager. I'm not going to go over them. You can check them out in the article below if you're interested. But this is basically it for this update, the biggest update for Windows 11 in the month of May. So of course, if you updated to this, make sure to leave a comment below stating your opinion if you had any issues or anything. As I've said, if you want to check out more info about this, you can check out my previous video from the release preview channel, the article below, or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.